One, one thing that I'm curious about is how, uh, how simple is the installation? If someone was to buy it on Amazon, they get it delivered. Is this something that they need a plumber to install or is this something that they can do on their own? Great question. So I would say the center set faucet, which is this one here, and it sits on a common base, right? The two handles and the, and the neck all sit together on that base. That is very simple to install. Um, and anybody, pretty much anybody can do it. We actually have installation videos on Amazon and on our website that walk you through how to install all of our faucets and our filters. There is a, another uh, faucet called a widespread. It has no common base. All three of these are separate and they are in separate holes. And that's a little more complex. We recommend a plumber for that. And then the water filter, it takes less than 10 minutes to install. All you do is unscrew the line uh, from the cold water side, and then it gets screwed in on one side. You take the other hose that we provide, and you unscrew that to the faucet, and you're done. Um, and it's it's real simple to unscrew. There's a, right here is a separation line. So like your filter that goes in the refrigerator, and you know how you twist lock it in? That's all this does. It's simple twist lock. So to change it out takes like less than 30 seconds. Wow. How often yeah, do you have to change it? I think that, that's a really good question. And I, I've installed, I installed, I have two in my home right now. I installed one myself. I'm not very handy. Um, you look handy. <laughs> uh, and my son, who's 22, he installed one, uh, uh, a really cool one in his uh, little basement uh, bathroom. He loves it. And so, uh, you know, and we didn't, you know, we watched the videos and we got the tools that we needed and we worked our way through it. And first time, boom, worked, worked like a charm. So if, you know, I, I would say if somebody like me or my son can do it, and we have, to Steve's point, we have the center set one, which is the easiest one. But uh, This is the widespread, guys, by the way. And this is what it looks like with no finish. So this is the solid brass that's underneath. Okay. You know, when you think about, you know, my background in building the best ships in the world, nuclear powered aircraft carriers and submarines, I, I decided let's figure out what it takes to make the best faucet in the world. And when, when you do, you learn that the best material is brass, you know, lead free brass, because it's easiest to work with. The other material cho choice is stainless steel. Um, that's a premium, but that's harder to work with. And then there are two other components. One is the valves. If they leak, the, the faucet's no good. So we use ceramic disc valves, which are the best. They're made in Spain. And the finish, the finish has to look good and, and maintain itself over time. The best finish you can get today is called physical vapor deposition or PVD. And we use a PVD finish on all of our faucets. Yeah, I mean, you, you eat with your eyes, right? So, I mean, the same thing goes there. If, it, if it's ugly but practical, you know, people probably won't use it. Yeah. Here's another real quick story on, let me put this, you can see that this is the only one we have that's unfinished. It's solid brass, as you can see. Uh, and my, my heritage, I'm a Canadian from Nova Scotia and both my father and grandfather in the shipbuilding industry. And so bra brass is a really important, um, legacy material for me. Cause I, I just grew up around that. And this is gets back to Steve. Steve knows that in my story. And this is the only, this is the only, uh, unfinished brass one that we have in the center set, in the center set, model. The center set right. And so. He was kind enough to send it to me, gift it to me. Uh, I'm not going to install. I just like having it to look at. But he, the, the point is, you know, here's another connection between what's important to me uh, and how Steve uh, responded to that. So I, I put that in that category of, you know, I feel that he cares. <laughs> he cares about me because he knows what he knows what's important uh, to me. And, and this takes me back to my my shipbuilding heritage also. Uh, and uh, here I have it on my desk that I just, uh, you know, reflect on frequently. So. So, so let me tie Dave back to dogs again, Zach. Um, last year we had a launch party to, for a small Kickstarter launch we did, and I had the mayor, Mayor Linda, come in to kick that off here at the facility, and Dave flew in from Minnesota to be a part of that launch party, and he stayed at our house. And uh, Rose, our German Shepherd, the long-haired one that we rescued from or, uh, people in Oregon, she actually had had an accident upstairs and there's Dave up there showing my wife, Becky, uh, different ways of getting that up without having a, too much fuss and trouble with cleaners. Um, but we had a great time together and got to know each other even more at a personal level, you know, spend more time together like that. Yeah. 
you know, it's the things that happen. I don't know what the quote is, but it's the, it's the things that happen basically off screen that matter. Right. It's not the yeah. things like, you know, it, you know, there's so many things now that are, are, are so perfect. Right. You know, or, or there's a filter that goes on to make it look like this life is perfect or this thing is perfect. So, okay. Well, what does that look like when uh, the cameras are off, if you will? And so I, I appreciate that. I appreciate that. I think it's great.